If you're a cardiologist like me, people probably love to tell you that red wine is good for your heart. It's not. First off, alcohol is loaded with sugar. Drink enough of it and you will get fat. That's why they call it beer belly, not celery belly. Also, the antioxidants in red wine are not as helpful as people think. You have to drink maybe 100 liters of red wine per day to get enough resveratrol for it to have any effect, which would almost certainly kill you. But even setting all that aside, and it's a lot to set aside, the problem with red wine is reverse causation. Basically, it's not the people who drink zero alcohol who get sick, it's that people who are sick tend to give up alcohol. The U-shaped curve you see with alcohol is a statistical illusion. If you do the research using Mendelian randomization studies, which can get rid of a lot of the statistical confounding, you see that the risk to alcohol is very linear. The more you drink, the worse you are. Now, I'm not saying you can't drink alcohol, I'm drunk right now, but you can think it's good for your heart. That's a myth. For Medscape, I'm Christopher Labos. Santé. What do you mean I'm supposed to spit out the wine after every take? <laughs>